Hey robot makers, I'm building a brand new companion robot and so far things haven't gone to plan. This is the eye mechanism that I've designed. You can see there that it isn't quite staying in the position that I need it to. And it's sort of lurching forward. And that's caused by a number of things. This arm here, for example, is moving quite a bit away. If I keep my screwdriver here, you might be able to see just how much it leans forward. And that's because it's pivoting on here in a way that I didn't really expect. It's kind of pivoting that way. It is working. That's the main thing. I might have to adjust this section here and make a little piece that sticks out into it. Apart from that, I'm quite happy with how that looks. And I just need to print out another one. Using this little servo control, and this helps me test out without having to write any code. I can simply select the mode and I can manually adjust with this wheel the angle that this is at. I can also just press next mode and it will center the servo so i've not quite got the horn in the correct position for that the next thing that went wrong is my 3d printer had an issue and i'll show you what the issue was and it resulted in this print here having a really poor top surface I don't know if you can see there it's completely brittle there you can see much better there and that means all these pieces from this layer up are all sort of crunchy and it hasn't extruded properly and that's because on the 3d printer itself where this bowden tube meets the hot end if the hot end has a very slight gap between it and the bowden tube you get some of the filament heating up and then clogging around there what it causes is drag as the filament goes through the hot end it sort of slows it down and drags it and that drag goes all the way back to the point where you have the extrusion gear and that seems to slip you hear this sort of ticking sound as it's sort of not feeding it in properly and what that looks like if i was to pull out this piece here it will look like a zip tie so i had had this issue before this is one from uh, the other printer i had the exact same issue and again it's where this this end here isn't quite 90 degrees to the tube and it allows a little bit of the filament to come through when it's heated up and it builds up either side and causes that drag and the result is you get this weird zip tie effect and in fact there's no way that that's even coming out there it's really really sort of in there you can see from this picture just how bad that is so i know i have to fix this it requires a special tool like this cutting tool the bowden tube and essentially just cutting a new piece so that's 90 degrees to the rest of the tube but that does mean that this printer is out of action until i've repaired it let's back up a second and let me show you what bubo looks like so this is bubo this is the new owl robot that i've designed so it has a little articulated mouth both the eyes will open and close and you can see inside that there is an adafruit neopixel ring just like this one there's going to be one inside each eye and the eye mechanisms are just like this here and that will fit just inside the back of there and that means we can do some really nice eye animations and we can make the eyes sort of glow as well so let's have a look at the design a bit further so the design is made up of essentially three different pieces there we have the face piece the front we have the body and we have the back piece so if we just get rid of the body and just leave the face we can rotate that round and see some of the insides you can see there these are the eye mechanisms that i've just shown you like this one just here and there's two of them and they nicely fit side by side and that means that we can control each eye opening individually there's also another little servo just underneath and that one has a mechanism for opening and closing the beak so you can, there we can open and close the mouth just like that and it's just another servo just underneath the eyes so base this owl on bubo from clash of the titans i remember this from my childhood when i first saw this film and it only came out in 1981 which doesn't sound like a long time ago to me but it's quite a long time ago in actual fact it's like 42 years ago to show my age there so yes this owl is uh, a clockwork owl and i thought that it looks quite steampunk like it's got um, copper and uh, metallic parts to it its feet move its mouth moves its head rotates round and these eye pieces also rotate as well so previously on the show we've had alex glow and she inspired me to create my own companion robot her companion robot is called archimedes and you can see from this clip this is what archimedes looks like so I too want a similar kind of robot that will be shoulder mounted and I'm aiming to wear this robot at the Maker Central event that's at the NEC on May 13th to 14th this year. The other issue I had during this build was the actual build surfaces. So I've replaced both the build surfaces on both my 3D printers. They get quite worn. So this one has a great big gouge in it just here. I use this blade scraper to scrape things off the build plate. And what's happened there is it's completely gone through the build surface there. This is probably a good practice. And this goes back to the days where I had a really poor 3D printer. I had to use masking tape on the build surface and you'd have to sort of scrape things off to get things off the, off the bed. The other surface on the other printer has a hole just here. And that was caused by the 
the hot end going straight through the bed because I had an issue with the bed levelling and it went straight through. It sometimes causes a, a little defect on the print on the bottom surface. So I thought it was time to swap these out with some brand new ones. The next thing that went wrong is I started a two day build so the, the face of Bubo is quite a big print and when I put this into Cura I had on the super fine selection mode so that it prints really really nice and as I printed this out it was going quite nice. I'd left it an entire day. It got this far through the print and it's probably he's about that far to go so it's about two days Days, two and a half days worth of a print and I forgot that we had an electrician coming to our house to put some new sockets in another part of the house and he turned the power off halfway through this printing. I'm having to basically use this as a learning experience and just test fit some of the prints to make sure they work okay. So let's take some of this build material off. So this is half a bubo and you can see there that the eyes are going to be quite nice when they're finely printed. We can get our eye mechanism and we can kind of put this in place and test fit that to see does that look okay as well. So that's going to work quite nicely. I'm quite pleased how that's turned out. I can see that everything fits okay. Uh, what I do need to do is put a little screw hole in this bottom surface here, the holder for the eye, so I can screw that into place. I can screw that into place just here. So Jenny has helped me with some of the painting effects on this. We've been trying out different uh, combinations of primer, sanding the 3D print beforehand and using no primer. And we've got three different colours as well. So I'm quite pleased with how these have turned out. So one thing I have discovered is Bubo is quite a bit bigger than I first thought. I think it would be about half the size of this, uh, but that's fine. We can make this work. So I hope you enjoyed this quick update and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.